Florida is one of only two places in the world with a karst aquifer system, meaning that the aquifer is made up of tunnels and caves due to the dissolution of limestone and other sediment. Florida State University professor Doran Knopf studies the unique karstic topography of Florida by cave diving in the many springs found within even an hour's drive of campus. In 1991, soon after Professor Knopf arrived at FSU, fellow cave diver and instructor with the FSU academic diving team, Parker Turner, was killed during a dive. So they were doing exploration of the uh, caves in the Wakala Springs, which are extremely long. Uh, they did these very, very long dives. And in this particular accident that I'm going to talk about, uh, some people already finished their dive and they were in the shallow part of the cave. A very large sludge of limestone started falling down from the place that he was sitting. And it filled a large part of, of the cave with this sediment. And when they followed the line going out, they suddenly came to a place that the line was going into the ground. Due to this tragic event, Professor Knopf spent numerous years researching and writing about underwater cave collapses, and his latest findings answer unresolved questions about Turner's death 24 years ago. But you can imagine that this is the, a cross section through a cave, so the water flows towards you, if you want, inside the cave like this, and this is the top, this is the bottom. You can see here a metal ball attached to the ceiling of the cave, and this is supposed to, to represent a rock. And the idea is that sometimes because of bubbles, uh, those rocks fall to the ground. Now what happened when divers pass by is that they release bubbles on the bottom, the bubbles rise and accumulate. Once divers pass under it, the rock weighs suddenly more. So let's say that that rock weighed 3,000 pounds and the structure of the cave is allowing to hold 3,000 pounds. Some divers pass by and suddenly it weighs 5,000 pounds. Well, the structure of the cave does not allow for 5,000 to be attached to the roof and it collapses. That is really the idea. Uh, okay, and you can see in the film how that happened, that when we release bubbles here, the rock does indeed fall. With this new knowledge, cave divers are now able to take more preventative measures while they continue to expand our understanding of the unique environment just below our feet.